let's create an email signature in our Outlook on the web, also known as Outlook Web Access 2019. We'll start by clicking on the gear at the top and clicking Options. On the left-hand side, we'll click on Email Signature and you'll be presented with this box. And one of the things we want to do is check the box that says Automatically Include our signature on messages I compose. So that way when you click to create a new email message, it will automatically be at the bottom. Now if you also want to have that on forwards and replies, you'll have to check the second box as well. Otherwise, uh, you will not see that on those forwards or replies. Next thing we want to do is we want to paste in or type in a, an email signature. And I've done just that, a very simple signature that also shows my email address as well as my website. If we take a look by selecting, we can see that there's lots of different options here that are very similar to Microsoft Word. We can make it bold, italic if we want, we can underline, uh, we can change the font, all the usual things that uh, you're used to. And we can also change the color as well. So let's go ahead and change this color, we'll make it blue. And we can uh, number, we can hide, we can also uh, bullet as well. And if we want, we can even insert a picture. There is this drop down area as well where we can change the indent if we like. And we can see the indent is now changed. If we hit the drop down, we can add a hyperlink directly to our site instead of just typing it in. And we've got some other options here as well. Some of these are duplicates to what we saw in this line here. The uh, undo and redo button, these uh, are really good because if you make a mistake, you're like, hey, I didn't really want to you know, change the color on that. You just hit the uh, undo or redo button to get it to the, be the way you want. If you really want to do a nice type of signature, however, it's a much better idea to do it in Microsoft Word where you have a lot more different options and then just select the whole thing, copy and paste it in and you get more different types of fonts. You, you can manipulate the picture, which you can't do if you paste a picture in here. You can only paste the picture in. You can't make a change to the size or anything like that. Uh, so you can do all those different things in Microsoft Word and then you can paste it in here and you get a much fancier looking signature the way you want it. But a, just a rudimentary signature, you can use these limited tools that you see in the email signature box. When you have it exactly the way you want it, click Save and let's go ahead and take a look at see if it works for us. So we'll click on New and we can see there it is, a signature has shown up. So that's how you set up an email signature in Outlook Web App 2019.